Okay, gang, Mike J. Anthony here, and I'm looking at Coin Market Cap, and we're checking out the prices that are currently holding at above seven thousand for Bitcoin, and Litecoin is just over seventy-four dollars. I happen to think that this is an awesome price. Um, I I had a previous buy, which was last year, at seventy-two dollars, and that was back in November of two thousand seventeen. I was recommending my personal recommendations. This is not financial advice. Uh, my personal uh, observations and uh, you know my uh, personal opinions were to buy Litecoin at seventy-two dollars. Now it's right around seventy-four. So I think this is a screaming buy in my book, anyway. If 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 I was buying, this is I would be buying Litecoin right now, hand over fist. And um, I still hold Litecoin. I love Litecoin. So anyway, just my personal opinion, but yeah, so Bitcoin is currently over just over 7,000. So it seems to be holding at that level so far as of today. Um, I think it's a good price. I think it's a good buy price. But anyway, as far as Litecoin having, um, it's going to have in 2019. So in August of 2019, it's now August 2018. So we got about another year and about two weeks it's usually sometime at the uh if it's going to to do it it's usually at the end of august sometime uh, at least that's when the last half was and in, in uh, 2015. so um let's just look at what is bitcoin having okay so if you're just wondering what it means to to have it when people are talking about this what is having so uh, it basically says when Satoshi Nakamoto created Bitcoin, he wanted to create a system that would be self-sustaining and that would in some ways emulate gold mining. That being, over time, mining would become more difficult and the rewards collected would slowly reduce so as to control the supply. Specifically, Nakamoto writes, the steady addition of a constant of amount of new coins is analogous to gold miners expending resources to add gold to circulation. In our case, it is CPU time and electricity that is expended. So, it says here, Nakamoto's solution to this problem is to institute a Bitcoin halving system. Here's how it works. When Bitcoin started, the block reward was a whopping 50 Bitcoin every 10 minutes. The Bitcoin code includes a statement which says that after every 210,000 blocks, or about 4 years, given 10 minutes per block, this reward should drop by half. The following, uh, sorry, following the last two Bitcoin halvings, the current block reward is now 12.5 Bitcoin. In the year 2020, it will be six and a quarter and so on. In this way, the Bitcoin halving has a number of important effects on the network. First, it extends the life of the reward system. If we were still in, uh, releasing 50 Bitcoin every 10 minutes, then we would reach the maximum supply cap of 21 million Bitcoin rather quickly. In fact, mining rewards would cease in about eight years. Reducing the reward rate over, slow, over time slowly means that there will be a longer period of time in which mining results in receiving a block reward. Secondly, Bitcoin having helps Bitcoin see steady price increases over time. This is because of the new, the number of new Bitcoin that appear each year will be decreasing. This limited supply causes Bitcoin prices to increase as their scarcity also increases proportionally. So basically, uh, having is the it, it, the amount of block rewards gets cut in half as it says right here so that's what a having is whatever the the uh the block reward is it gets cut in half so that it controls the supply and it becomes more scarce which would drive the price up uh over time so that's what they're looking at with with the meaning of a bitcoin having the same thing happens with any cryptocurrency that has a having system in place uh, Litecoin has one, so people ask the question on Stack Exchange here that uh, when will Litecoin be fully buying compared to Bitcoin, and at what years will each having occur? So Bitcoin will be fully mined in about a hundred years. Well, um, did I see that someplace? Yeah, so here in this article it says it's it's about 130 years. So they're considering that the network started operation in 2009 for Bitcoin. This means the network will have a total of about 130 years before this event occurs. Before the, they're talking about before 
Bitcoin reward goes to zero, and there's no more need to mine it. It would happen not in our lifetimes, basically. So they're saying around the year 2140. So that's Bitcoin, and Litecoin would happen probably within a few years after that, since um, Litecoin came out two years after Bitcoin in 2011. And uh, so let's see, yeah, so it says Bitcoin will be fully mined in about 100 years, uh, or at least 130 if you're looking at the other article there. When will Litecoin be fully mined? Towards 84 million. Uh, I don't know what year, so basically they have here Litecoin block reward has every 840,000 blocks, which is four times Bitcoin's 210. And which is roughly every four years, same as Bitcoin. The first halving to 25 Litecoin per block happened already on August 25th, 2015. And the next is predicted for August 2019, when the reward will have to about 12 and a half Litecoins per block. So because Litecoin has as often as Bitcoin, it'll be completely mined only a couple years after Bitcoin is. So, and then they kind of have a breakdown here that body year 2035. Um, the reward will be about 0.78 Litecoin, and then every four years after that until it goes down to zero. So, that's it, that's what Litecoin having is, and this is the schedule for Litecoin having. But the next one, so right now, so it was 50 Litecoin in uh, before previously before 2015, now it's 25. And then next year, the block reward will be 12 and a half Litecoin by next August. And that is that. So I highly recommend buying Litecoin, Bitcoin. Get yourself some Bitcoin, especially. Um, also, get Litecoin. I really like Litecoin at these prices. And uh, there's a bunch of other stuff I like, but right now, big, probably Litecoin is my favorite one. But I also do hold a you know a little bit of Bitcoin, but definitely Litecoin is the one that I fully recommend. I recommended it at seventy two dollars last year. I recommend it again right now at nearly seventy two dollars, two dollars above seventy two. So uh, underneath this video, there's a link where that'll take you to Coinbase. And if you happen to use that link to buy your Bitcoin and Litecoin, um, you have to deposit one hundred dollars in your bank account, and it will give us both an extra. Ten dollars in Litecoin. If you do that, you'll get me an extra ten bucks, and you'll get yourself an extra ten dollars on top of your one hundred. So that's what that link is for. And I, no matter how, whatever link you decide to use, or whatever exchange you decide to use, make sure you buy some Bitcoin and buy some Litecoin. Either way. All right. This is Mike J. Anthony, and I'll see you in the next video.